Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. Let's listen to Wajakoya before we proceed. Na mimi najua kuna magava na mbawa mekula. Who are supposed to be with Baba here? Wengine wanaanda kusema ati tutafanya kazi na sirikali. Mamako ndi alikuweka hapo. Money anymore? Take your feet, the big plan of But imagine you go out on the door, my new woman. Who are you? What are you? Those remarks were made by George Wajakoyo in Kibra during Raila's rally. And before Wajakoyo spoke, other leaders had also heard similar sentiments. And they were castigating leaders who are not seen in Raila's political rallies. And most of leaders who are getting cozy with William Ruto's government. In this video, I want us to put those remarks by George Wajakoya into perspective. I want to unearth the truth behind those remarks by George Wajakoya. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. Yes. Where is the truth? In all this, we have seen leaders saying they must work with the government to bring development. Yes. So, is it a must for a leader to work with the government to bring development? The answer is a very big no. A leader can bring development to his or her people whether he is in the opposition or in government. And that's why the constitution provides for government and for opposition. A leader can bring development whether he is in government or not in government. If you look at Kenyan leaders, they are self-seekers and leaders out to enrich themselves. They are in politics to make money. That's the truth. A good majority of these leaders are actually in politics to make money. After the August presidential election, a good majority of these leaders thought and felt Raila Odinga was finished politically. So some of them saw no need of embracing Raila Odinga. But now, as time goes by, they are actually getting shocked to realize that Arayi Odinga, who they thought was finished, is actually becoming stronger. A good majority of them are surprised because of that. And that's why if you look at Kibra rally today, some of these leaders who have been giving Raila's rallies a wide berth, I saw their faces today in Kibra. And that's something I've been talking about in this forum. I've always maintained here that as time goes by, most of these Azimio leaders who are getting cozy with William Ruto's government will be forced to make a U-turn. And it's the ground that will force them to make a U-turn. And from Kibra rally today, that has started coming out very, very clearly. If you look at the constitution, it provides on how the two levels of, levels of government actually relates. The county governments and the executive, the national government. The constitution already lays that or lays out on how these two levels of, of government actually re relates. So when a leader is saying that he must work with the government to bring development, 
thus a leader just crossing over to the government side. Because looking at William Ruto and regarding the Shagwa, working with them means you join their team and you start singing their political ideology. That's what Ruto and Gashagwa means. <laughs> when you see Ruto and Gashagwa saying you must work with the government, they mean you must join them and you start singing their political tune. And if you look at these leaders, I don't think they have that, <laughs> that strength eh, to resist a William Ruto's charm. The moment they start warming up to the government, they'll easily be convinced by Ruto to start singing William Ruto's tune. And that's the, 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 the actual, rather the reality of most of these Azimio governors. These are self-seekers, all very corrupt leaders who know that by criticizing William Ruto's government, then the government might come for them or after them. So they are also cowards. That's something coming out very clearly. And as Wajakoya puts it, I tend to believe Wajakoya is just trying to tell these leaders that they were elected not because of the government, but because they were in the right party all supporting the right leader. And it's a fact, most of these Azimio leaders were elected because they were in Azimio supporting Rai Lodinga. So they were not elected to work with the government. Already the people elected them knowing fully well they were going to work with Rai Lodinga. And it's not even about the issue of working with the government. And I'm saying that because after William Ruto was elected the president, or rather declared the president, there was a gubernatorial election in Kakamega and a gubernatorial election in Mombasa. Residents of Kakamega and Mombasa voted for Fernandez Baraza and Shabal, not Shabal, Nasir, knowing fully well they were going to be in the opposition because they were in Azimio. But still, residents of Kakamega and Mombasa voted for them. So when that kind of a leader comes out and say that he must work with the government for development, while those who elected him rejected a government's candidate, is just a way of telling the people that you don't know the right thing for you. Because the people rejected the government's candidate and voted for them. Why are you now telling them that you must work with the government? When the same people rejected our government's candidate. So all these talks that we must work with the government to, de to bring development, in my honest opinion, those sentiments do not have the blessings of the people. Those are leaders out to seek their own personal gains and interests. Nothing about the people. Yes. And also as time goes by, it's very clear that they'll find the ground very hostile to them. Especially leaders who are elected in areas that have been traditionally supporting Rai Lodinga. They'll find the ground very, very hostile to them. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. But just as I did indicate when we were starting, if you are watching us but you have not yet subs subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. To our fans and subscribers here, I'm very much humble, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. God bless you, God bless Kenya. Any other person who want to support our forum, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through the number or feel free to channel your support to the number. Let's meet 
in our next analysis. Thank you.